What's up guys? So today we're going to be doing a compression test on a Mazda RX-7. It's got a 13B for the motor. Uh, first step, you want to run the motor, get it up to temperature, and once it's up to temperature, turn it off, and you're going to take this or fuse right here, 30 amp ignition fuse, and it's going to be right here in this fuse box. The power wire is going to come to this box. So take that fuse out. Once that's out, you can raise the car up, jack it up, however you want to do it. Um, and then you can take the two top spark plugs out, and that's the only ones that you need out to do the compression test. All right, so this is everything that we need. Uh, you got a ratchet with a spark plug socket, uh, a little bit of anti-seize for your plugs, and then this is the compression tester. This is a rotarycompressiontester.com. Very easy to use, very simple. It comes with instructions. So this is the little system that you're going to use uh, to turn it on. You just hit this power button right here, it turns it on, and then it also comes with some adapters, if I can plug it in. And this just gives you a little bit of more length, so that way you can take this and actually put it up in the car. So. What we're going to do, I'm going to turn that off for now. Come up in here. So, you're going to take your two top spark plugs out, which is your lead plugs. Well, your trailing plugs. Your bottoms are your leads. Tops are your trailings. These two have to come out. You can leave these bottom ones in. This is the adapter. This part is going to screw into the cylinder, not a cylinder, but the housing. You want to make sure it's kind of snug because it's got a little o-ring on it. You don't want any air to escape from that because you want the best numbers that you can get. If your motor's good. Alright, so now take the cord to this end and then you're going to take this end right here. Plug them together just like that. Now we're going to let the car down and I'm going to show you guys how this thing works. So we're going to press this red button, turn it on. Alright, now it's going to say begin cranking. So I'm going to lay it down in the car, so that way I can see it. Another thing, when you go to do this, you want your gas pedal all the way to the floor. Um, so that will allow, pretty much just like a regular cylinder, uh, you want air to get in there. Turn the car on, watch this. the second set of numbers. So, it's got that, KPA, PSI. So we got 134, 137, 134. So it looks like our numbers are good. Anything over 100, you're good. 100 and below, you're gonna need to either do your apex seals or you got a leak somewhere, and that's not good. 134, 137, 134, 134. All right, so now we're gonna turn it back off. You can leave that in there. We're gonna raise the car back up and do the same thing on the rear. All right, so you're gonna come over here and disconnect that. You can just let that hang for now. You want to unscrew it out of this one. So now you take it and go into your back one. All right. And just so you guys can see, 
it will look like that. So your sensor is going to be in the top and you can leave your bottom plugs in. That won't affect anything. Same thing with this. You're going to turn it on. Let it sit for a second. Alright, it says begin cranking. Put your foot all the way to the floor. We got 135, 125, 122. And it's going to have a whole bunch of other numbers and stuff with it. PSI is going to show up first. And you want to go PSI correction. Those are the numbers that you want. 135, 125, 122. So we're good there. So, being that the compression, check, compression test checked out, this motor is good.